A few years back, I did a review on the Garden Yamaha CFX VST instrument. At the time, it was the best sounding piano VST instrument on the market. Well, now Native Instruments have released Noir, which is a model of the CFX. Let's take a listen to the differences between the two. Both of them are absolutely excellent sounding piano instruments, and it's gonna be up to you to decide which is best for your workflow. Let's start with the Garrett CFX. Now, as a reminder, there are three different pianos we could select from. We have the classic, contemporary, and player. Let's listen to the classic. And now moving on, let's try the contemporary. And up last, let's look at the player perspective. Now let's take a look at Native Instruments Noir. Noir has two different pianos you can select from. We're gonna start with the Noir Pure. In order to switch the pianos in Noir, you just come on over into your browser on the left, and we could drag our other piano, which is the Noir Felt. Let's listen to Felt in its default setting. Now felt is obviously a completely different felt dampened sound, and as great as it is, we're going to not cover felt today just because it's really not a great comparison. Instead, let's stick to comparing Noir's Pure to the Garrett and Classic, since they're probably the most similar to each other. Now hopefully you can hear that there are some sonic differences between the Garrett and the Native Instruments version of the CFX, but even more so, the way that the plugin interacts with you as the user is totally different. First off, on the Garrett we have our close and ambient mics right here. And let's just take a quick listen to what that does to our sound. So right away, just on this front panel, we have a ton of control. But more so, we could get a little bit more specific in terms of what we want to do here by controlling the position of the lid, by controlling sympathetic resonance, sustain resonance. And then here in the studio section, we have the ability to set different reverbs, EQs. Let's see what this does for our sound.
And we have tons of different convolution reverbs that we could select from here. And then obviously in terms of EQ, we have our EQ section. And then in the advanced section, we have everything from our velocity curves to different types of tunings. So if you're looking for just a great straight up acoustic piano sound, the Garrett excellent. But if you're looking for something a little more abstract or really looking to dig in creatively, the Garrett may not be what you're looking for. Let's take a look at where Native Instruments Noir maybe has a little bit of an advantage. So first off, the sound difference between Noir and the Garrett piano were very different. The Garrett had a little bit of a sharper attack and a little bit more hammer sound. Well, a lot of that could be controlled right here on this front panel. Listen to what happens as we adjust the color and tonal shift and the dynamic range right from this front panel. So right away, just the color and the tonal shift give us a lot of variation on the sound of this piano. And we haven't even gotten into the effects. Obviously, we have the ability to set reverb and delay. Let's just take a listen to what those do for us. Okay, so it's reverb and delay just like we'd expect but there's a lot more under the hood, and that comes from these four icons up here. So let's see what we've got. First off, just like in the garden, you have the ability to control your noises, but I think Native Instruments goes a little further with the noises, almost to the point of being creative with your noises. So let's add some pedal, mechanical, and felt sounds and see what we could do with this. So by sampling everything such as the felt coming off of the strings, the pedal sounds, and other mechanical sounds, you really could kind of get a noisy piano, which could be really cool, especially in some 20th century pieces and other creative uses. Now, if you've ever felt like a piano wasn't cutting through in the low end, this is really cool. We have this sub button here. Listen to what happens as I engage this. So we get an almost sign-like wave quality that enhances the bass and in some ways may reduce the need to add an additional bass track, which is something I'll do under my solo piano parts just to add a little more body to a solo piano performance. Now in the next section, the effects section, we have a lot of really creative choices here. So we have our basic things like EQ, transient, compressor, stereo image. Stereo image is kind of cool. Listen to what this does for our sound. We almost remove the center of the sound and then can collapse to mono. Now, in addition to that, we have a whole section of different noises we could select from. So let's listen to just the noise that could be applied. This one's kind of cool. It's actually got the sound of uh, people talking in the background. And then some of these get just kind of straight up creepy. And then probably my favorite one, machine noises. I'm not sure how machine noises were selected to go with an acoustic piano, but some ways it works. And then if you really want to sound like Keith Jarrett, click on pianist and you can now start to adjust the sounds that come from Everything from vocal sounds to other piano movements, such as the bench moving around. Listen to this. So by adding this pianist, you can add a ton of realistic sounds or crank it up to just really exaggerate them. Now, if you really want to get creative, check out this particles engine. You can turn it on and select anywhere from your acoustic piano sound to a ton of other sounds. Listen to what this does for us.
So you could actually take an entire piano performance, remove the piano, and be left with almost this synth type quality behind you. It's super cool as a creative effect on its own, or just to add a little bit something extra to a piano performance. So if we were to add that in underneath the piano in kind of a more moderate setting, here's what we would get. Now there's so much to cover in Noir, but let's last just take a look at this last section, which is our reverb, which we have tons of different reverbs we could select from. All of them sound great. And then over here is our delay. And so we have a bunch of different delay settings we could select from here too. So that's a quick review and comparison. Garadin CFX compared to Native Instruments Noir CFX. Both of them are excellent sounding instruments. And I'm probably gonna use both of them depending on the circumstance I'm in. In general, I find that I'm gonna to turn to the Garrett and CFX when I'm looking for something more classical and just kind of realistic on a solo piano setting. When it comes to anything creative or just wanting to have it sit perfectly in the mix, Noir is the way I'm gonna go. The ability to kind of get in there and sculpt the piano sound from realistic to something that's just kind of completely mangled and creative is just a nice creative opportunity.